doing a series of videos for the meals that I cook. I post a lot of pictures on Facebook on uh, dinners and little lunches and things that I picked up and people always ask me, you know, for recipes and how to cook this, that, and the other. So I figured, and, and I also had somebody suggest that I do a video and uh, start my channel on, on YouTube. So, here we go. I'm going to give a lot of love uh, to Miss Anita down in the ATL. This was one of her suggestions. I had thought about it, but I just didn't think there was an interest. But uh, from the emails and the inboxes, I see it is. So, today I am fixing black eyed peas. And we got a little turkey tail over here inside the, the, the uh, black eyed peas. I fixed them in the uh, crock pot. I started them yesterday. I didn't cook them all the way through um, because, you know, I didn't want them to be mush. Uh, and then today I am cutting up. I got my onions diced and my carrots. I am just finished roasting a pepper on the gas stove. Uh, just to, to bring out the sweetness. And then I also have uh, pepper, the bell pepper here that I'm dicing up to put inside of the, uh, with the onions and carrots. Because I, I want these uh, black eyed peas to have a lot of flavor to them. And again, I don't want them to be like the black eyed peas that some people cook or don't cook and cheat out the damn glory can. Um, but there's all kinds of ways to fix up meals that you have had before. You can change them and tweak them just by switching out the ingredients and, you know, adding in something fresh as far as the vegetable. Um, and it can just give that, that ordinary dish a whole new flavor. Okay, now I'm not anybody certified chef that went to school for culinary and, and none of that. I am sincerely a woman who likes to cook. And as an artist, I like to try different things. And um, you know, you should you should try things. There's a lot of foods and seasonings in the world that you've never had. Simply because some people are just scared to try new things and some things you just never heard of. So you didn't know. So when I go to, so here in Cincinnati, we have a place called Finley Market where our farmers and we get fresh produce and things from our farmers and the local farms, fresh meat. And uh, we don't have to necessarily go to our chain stores for those particular items. Um, but what I do is I, I talk to the farmers and I ask them about certain fruits and vegetables that I had never seen before. You know, there's nothing wrong with not knowing. That's the fun part of living is finding out new stuff and uh, learning if that whatever it is you learn can be incorporated into your life or it just may be a tidbit of information that somebody else can use. All right. So now... I'm going to, oh, before I go any further, let me cut my, I want to get my rice going a little bit. I always use uh, jasmine rice because I just simply love the way it smells. And I like the way it tastes as well. But, uh, well, then again, I'm going to hold off on the rice because it's going to take that long to cook. So what I'm going to do now is cut my, uh, my pepper. Oh, and it smells so good. You you just wouldn't imagine that, you know, something that we would probably call burnt uh, could actually enhance the flavor of a vegetable. And uh, the smell of it is simply amazing. So I'm just cutting it up. I know it's, you can't see it because of uh, this pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch burners. Put it out into the back. Okay, so you can get a better view of what I'm doing over here. So 
but it smells wonderful. It really does. So I have my uh, my black eyed peas over there. I think I have them on. I have them on high now. So I'm just going to cut my peppers up a little bit. I got rid of the uh, some of the seeds. They don't bother me. I think they look pretty. I know a lot of people cut them, and get rid of them. All oh, they're wasteful, but somehow I don't think I believe that. I think. Everything has a purpose. And if there's nothing else, it, it would provide a little bit of rubbish. So I just, uh, you know, I'm not that particular. It, it depends on what I'm cooking, but for this particular dish, I'm not partic uh, too much concerned about the little seeds in there. They're not hot. Okay, so I'll just cut them up and then I'm going to add that. To my onions and carrots. Okay. Give it a little stir so everybody gets to mingle. And then I'm going to add some garlic. I like the pre peeled garlic. Um, I did eyeball some garlic at the market today because I started to uh, put it over the flame like I did with the pepper, but I felt like, ah, forget it. Doing a little too much. So I'm just going to crush these and release the oils in it and just roughly chop them. That's all. I don't want them diced too much. I just want to rough chop on them. And that's good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and throw those in and give that a stir. Now, what I didn't do, and I know a lot of people do, and this was something that I typically do. This is just a teaspoon of uh, sea salt and uh, I'm sauteing my onions and carrot mixture in uh, extra virgin olive oil. So that was two teaspoons of sea salt. But what I was going to say earlier was that I did not season my beans yesterday. Typically when I cook, you know, I have everything seasoned but this time I didn't. I wanted to put all my flavoring in this mixture here, and then I'm going to add my beans to that. So I didn't want to uh, overload. I didn't want too much salt or too much heat. So I'm going to save all my seasoning for this mixture here. The uh, only thing I added to that was, like I said, the fresh uh, turkey tail. And the butcher, he cut it up into pieces for me. Now, this is my first time using turkey tail. I've heard stories, legends have been told about how delicious the tail of the turkey is. So I went ahead and bought some, oh, I just added a little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, and then I'm going to add some thyme. Okay, and then I'm going to rub it in there to release the oil from it because this is dry thyme. If I had some fresh, that would be absolutely perfect. If you ever get an opportunity to buy fresh herbs, do that. Uh, but if not, the dried likes to get in the dance too. So, okay, that was my thyme. I've added sea salt. I've added cayenne pepper. And I'm going to add, uh, what am I going to add? I'm going to add... I don't always have uh, a plan when I cook. Sometimes I make things up as I go. You know what? I think I may just leave it. Just like that because it smells wonderful. I think I'm going to leave it like that until I, I, I haven't tasted it with the turkey tail. So after I get this ready and add this bean mixture to this, I'm going to give it a taste. And then I'll know what else I need to add to it. But right now, let's see what this mixture here brings. Okay. So I like the way that's looking. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cook a little bit with the lid on it. Because I don't want all that goodness to get out of there. So this is feeling pretty warm. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Um, 
And I'm going to add the beans and the turkey tail to this mixture. Uh, I have larger crock pots, but I'm cooking this pretty much just for me. Um, and I may put some in the freezer. Uh, the kids, they don't typically care too much for black eyed peas. You know, so it's whatever. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and put this rice on. Then again, no, I'm not. <laughs> I seem to be obsessed with the rice. No, I'm not going to do the rice. What I'm going to do is, and I thought about this yesterday, when I thought about eating the beans, you always think beans and cornbread. I'm going to fix, if I have cornmeal up here, I wanted to fix some hot water cornbread. I haven't had any in a long time. And it won't work if I don't have any corn. Wait a minute. I think I have some. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes! I have cornmeal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix, show you all how to fix hot water cornbread. Let me go get a pot and get a skillet in my pantry and I'll be right back, okay? Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Call your friends so they can watch my new videos. Hold on, let me get a... My beans. 
Oh wow, they smell great. Oh, 
Alright, it's starting to look like it wants to rumble up a little bit. And that's good. So I'm going to put this away. Like I said, this is not the Food Network. I don't have a staff to clean up after me. I have to get it all done myself. And I still want the kitchen to look reasonably nice when I get finished. So I found out if you clean as you go, it makes things that much easier. Let me put you all on ice. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had a phone call that I had to take. Um, now, what you missed is I had to go ahead and make my hot water cornbread mixture. And that, that was what you missed. But what it is is you boil your water. And then after it boils and you just season your water and everything, you just add your cornbread, your cornmeal to the mixture and it makes it kind of thick. And what you're going to do once this gets hot, you're just going to mash it in your uh, skillet, kind of like a pancake. So that's essentially what it is. It's, it's a cornmeal pancake and they call it hot water cornbread and it is absolutely fantastic and it's really good. Um, you know, when you have things that require dipping. <laughs> good for dipping. So I'm going to get my... Oh, I haven't decided. Do I, want to use, I think I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to use a platter. The rice is smelling lovely. And it should be ready in a little bit. So now we're just waiting for this butter and olive oil mixture to uh, get a little bit more heat on it. And I'll go ahead and keep my butter and my olive oil on deck in case I, I need it. Okay? So, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much. There's no need to panic. So, like I said, you just I'm not a person who really does a whole lot of measuring. Um, I've been cooking for so long that, I don't know, even when I, I read recipes that give me measurements, I typically don't follow them, so, but I understand some people need measurements. Um, I cook for me, for the most part, and I, I cook for my friends and, and things like that, so I just kind of fix or guesstimate what I want. If I want leftovers, I know to use a little more. If I don't, the trick for me is to use smaller pans, and I'll cook less. So my rice is coming to a boil. My butter and uh, olive oil is looking nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first one in. I'm rolling it a little bit in the in my pot. I'm just rolling it just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna push it out. I don't want them to touch. I'm gonna make sure they don't they don't touch. Okay, I'm gonna move that oil around in there. Now what I didn't do and what I will do now. And I'm going to hit it up with a little black pepper. I like a little black pepper on my hot water cornbread. There, we just put a little cracked crack pepper on My beans are looking good. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. Yeah, they're lovely. So I'm going to cut those off because they're ready. And like I said, the rice is coming along. I'm going to uh, add a little lemon zest to my rice. Now I keep my limes and lemons frozen and uh, I right here. And I'm just going to shave some of the zest 
sauce in there. I want the rice to have some, some depth to it. And this heat is cooking my fingers. Oh my God, help me. And look, wait a minute, let me check, let me check. It looks like my little penny cakes here are going to be flipped over. No, not quite yet, because I like mine with a little, little brown on it. So let me um, get a little bit of it in here, zest back in here as quick as I can, because this really is sizzling my fingers. Oh my God. All right, that's enough. Get it. Get with it after the fact. Now, let me check the, uh, the bottom of that. Nope, not quite ready yet. It needs to be brown. If you, you try to flip them too fast, because they are soft, they'll break on you. I don't want it to break. Pretty those are. Again, let me separate them. 
So I'm going to cut this video off for a second. Okay. Everything seems to be coming around very nicely. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plate everything up. Can you see me? I know you've been seeing my hands and my voice, but eventually I'll get this thing straightened out where I can get a, a, a taller tripod. I actually do have a couple of them upstairs, but never the now. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. For video's sake, I went ahead and used a glass bowl. You can see how pretty it's going to be. Now, I know everybody likes their rice a certain way. But I like my rice kind of mushy, almost like potatoes. Um, and I just added a little bit more water to them to give them like this. And it just depends. Some, some meals... I like it, you know, all separate and flaky, but, uh, but this, this is how I want it. So we got our rice going, and then I'm going to add, oh, that smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to add our blackout peas. I want to make sure I get that turkey tail in there and that juice. Let me get some more beans. And I want a little bit more of red pepper in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me get another one of these tails in there too. They smell great. Now, add Hot water cornbread. Look how pretty that is. Can you see that? It is gorgeous. Like that. And then I can get my beer out the freezer. I got my ice in here, and I know for my diehard beer fans that say, Oh my god, I can't believe she put ice in her beer and she's drinking it with a straw. What a girl. Well, you drink your beer the way you like, and Miss Jones is going to drink her beer the way she likes. And I like it with ice, baby. So I'm going to pour my Guinness in. I'm a dark beer drinking girl. And I'm going to pour it in my Santa mug and have a drink with Santa. Can you see Santa? Look at his little boots. Isn't he cute? He got him a glass of wine and the whole bottle outside. That's what I'm talking about. This is a... Uh, a Lyric Original Stein, you can get these at uh, cafepress.com forward slash Lyric Original. And uh, I think this is great for my, for my beer. So anyway, I'm going to taste this. So I can let you, I mean, it just wouldn't be right if I, if I didn't taste it. Let's see, let's see if we can get me, get me in, in the shot tasting it. All right, let's see if we can do this. Oh, it smells so good. Let me taste the juice first. I want to make sure. But I can tell by the smell that it's seasoned perfectly. I can just tell. Oh. Oh, my God. It's seasoned better than perfect. It's superb, I tell you. It's superb. Oh, my God. I wish I could give you all around. Me. Oh, my God. I'm going to get a little bit with the rice because I love jasmine rice just because of the flavor of it. Let me see. Mm. Oh, my God. I may not get anything else done today. Let's taste this uh, cornbread. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. Soft on the inside. I may have to let it cool off a little bit because it's super hot. Oh. Oh, wow. That's excellent. That's excellent. If you all are interested in me cooking for you, send me an email if you live local. 
because this here needs to be shared for a fee. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I will do better with my videos as time goes on. Like I said, this actually this is my second one. I tried to do one yesterday and it didn't come out well. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to get better at it, and I hope you all follow me and and stick with me, and I hope to show you how to make delicious meals, especially for those people who are single or it's just you and your, and your mate, and you're always going out to pick up fast food because you work. Um, you can still have a very good home cooked meal for probably less than what you're spending on fast food. It may take you just a little bit of time. And you say, I don't have any time. You need to make time for yourself. Making time to eat a good meal it should be a requirement, not an option. Okay? So you do better. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.